Hello Junk Wax Investor Community. Today we'll be looking at the top 10 Junk Wax era basketball cards that sold on eBay in the last week. In addition to this awesome list, as always, I've included some bonus listings at the end as well. Definitely a great mix of cards. You don't want to miss those. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. All right, let's not waste any more time and get into the good stuff. All right, going to start off in the 10th spot from 1993 Hoops. We have a second year Shaquille O'Neal card, fifth anniversary parallel, graded gem in PSA 10. It was a fixed price sale for $500. It's a pop of only 31 in a gem mint slab. The fifth anniversary parallels were inserted one per pack and two per jumbo packs. And boxes of 1993 hoops sell for around $65 to $95. In the number nine spot from 1989 hoops, we have the Michael Jordan All Star card graded a pristine BGS 10. This card sold at auction for $696. Subgrades were 10 for centering corners and edges and a 9.5 for surface. In a pristine slab, this is a pop of 20 and there's no higher graded black labels. For comparison, Gem Mint PSA 10 is a pop of 3,491 and they typically sell for around 100 bucks or so. Boxes of 1989 hoops sell for around 70 to $120. In the number eight spot from 1991 Skybox, we have the Team USA Dream Team insert card, graded a gem in PSA 10, sold at auction for $755. It's a pop of only 76 in the gem mint slab. The Team USA gold foil card was randomly inserted into Series 2 packs, and boxes of 1991 Skybox Series 2 have recently sold for around $90 to $140. Also in that Series 2, you have the Team USA subset, which are fairly sought-after cards themselves. If you're interested in looking into these boxes further, there's links in the description box below. Those are eBay affiliate links that take you directly to search results on eBay for all the boxes in our top 10, plus ones from our previous videos. In the number 7 spot from 1994 Skybox Emotion. We have the Michael Jordan Intense Insert graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $770. It's a pop of 410 in a gem mint slab, and the Intense Inserts were inserted at a rate of 1 in 18 packs. And boxes of 1994 Skybox Emotion sell for around $350 to $400. In the number six spot from 1995 Skybox Premium, we have a Michael Jordan Electrified. This is a subset in Skybox Premium, not an insert. Graded gem in PSA 10, sold at auction for $841. This subset can be found in Series 2, and this card in a gem in slab is a pop of only 93. Boxes of 1995 Skybox Premium Series 2 sell for around $250 to $300. In the number five spot from 1993 Fleer Ultra, we have a Michael Jordan Scoring Kings insert graded a GGS Near Mint Mint 8. That was a fixed price sale for $1,080. Subgrades from GGS were 8.5 for surface and centering and 8s for corners and edges. Considering that PSA 8s sell for around $800 to $850 or so, I think this one's a little tough to believe. The Scoring Kings inserts were inserted into Series 1 boxes at a rate of 1 in 36 packs. And those boxes of 1993 Ultra Series 1 sell for around $340 to $425. From 1992 Tops Archives, we have Shaquille O'Neal's Checklist Gold Rookie Card graded a pristine BGS 10. That was a fixed price sale for $1,275. In a pristine slab, the Shaq rookie card is a pop of only four, and there are no higher graded black labels. Uh, Gem and PSA 10s, they sell for around $800 and up, but they have a pop of 160. So the Shaq rookie card is only found in the gold parallel sets, factory sets. There are only about 10,000 produced, and the checklist was replaced with a Shaq checklist. Those sets uh, recently sold for around $200 to $300. Alright, time to see what we have in the top three. 
But first, just a quick reminder, if you need any hobby supplies, check out BCW Supplies. There's a link in the description below. Use the code JUNKWAX10. Save 10% on your order. In the third spot from 1995 Tops, we have Michael Jordan's card number 277, Power Boosters Parallel, graded gem in PSA 10, was a fixed price sale for $1,350. In a gem mint slab, this is a low pop of only 47. Cards 276 to 290 in Series 2 were the only ones that were paralleled with the Power Boosters, and they were inserted one in 36 packs. Boxes of 1995 Top Series 2 sell for around $250 to $350. In the number 2 spot from 1994 Top's Finest, we have the Michael Jordan Refractor with Coating, graded in mint PSA 9, sold at auction for $1,425. It's a pop of 611 in the mint slab, and there are 147 higher graded gem mint 10s. And the refractors were inserted one in 12 packs. Jordan is found in Series 2. And boxes of 94 Finest Series 2 sell for around 450 to 600 bucks. And topping the list this week in the number one spot from 1989 Fleer, we have the Michael Jordan All Star Sticker graded Gem in PSA 10. The sticker sold at auction for $3,161. In a gem mint slab, it's a pop of only 83, and boxes of 1989 Fleer sell for around 450 to 600 bucks. All right, that's it for the top 10. Let me know in the comments below which one of these would you add to your PC. For me, I'd probably have to go with the 92 Tops Archive Shack Gold in a pristine slab, pop of only four. That is a pretty awesome copy. Doesn't get much better than that. What's your choice? Let me know in the comments, and please hit that like button. All right, time for our Junk Wax Investor Basketball Index. This week was a tough week for basketball. Down again, setting new lows at 70. So we're sitting right around where the NASDAQ is, 69.9. Also setting a low, I believe, since the beginning of the year. Uh, S&P 500 down as well, performing a little bit better than our Basketball Index and the NASDAQ. And Bitcoin is, well, Bitcoin's having a rough year. Basketball Index is made up of 50 cards. Here's a list of those cards spanned from 1989 Fleer all the way up to 1996 Tops. Pretty awesome list. A lot of awesome cards on there. Hall of Famers and awesome rookie cards as well. Summary for the week. We had 13 cards at an increase in sales price. Unfortunately not enough to get a positive move in the index. We had 16 with no change and 21 that decrease in price. Let's see how basketball stacks up to the other three major sports that we follow. Baseball is still in the lead, 84.8. Hockey and football are tied at 81.3. And basketball is still bringing up the rear at 70. As mentioned, that's a new low. Hopefully we see that turn around. I don't want to have to change the scale of the graph. So here, fingers are crossed that nothing gets down below a 65. So I compile and I track the values of these indexes using the market mover's X program is a pretty awesome program with lots of great hobby tools. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. Use the code JWI and the first month of your subscription is only a buck. All right, let's get in some bonus cards. First up from 1994 Flair, we have the Grant Hill Wave of the Future Rookie Card Graded Gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $125. That's a pretty good looking price, $125. It's a low pop of only $27 in a gem mint slab. This exact card sold for $250 back in February of 2021. The wave of the future inserts were randomly inserted into second series packs at a rate of 1 in 7 packs. From 1991 Sports Educational, we have a hand-cut Dikembe Mutombo rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $71. That's a good deal, I think, all things considered, and it's a low pop of only two. From 1992 Sports Card Review, we have a Michael Jordan hand-cut Prime Picks card graded near mint PSA 7. It was a fixed price sale for $99.99. There's a pop of only three in a near mint seven slab, and there's only five graded higher, with the highest being two mint nines. 
from 1995 metal we have a chris weber metal force insert grade in mint psa 9 it was a fixed price sale for $34.96. It's a pop of only three in a mint slab, and there's only one higher graded gem in 10. The Metal Force inserts were randomly inserted exclusively in second series retail packs at a rate of 1 in 54 packs. From 1989, we have a 24 promo card lot. Win a road trip with the Spurs. You got a David Robinson rookie year card on there on the top. All in raw condition. It was a fixed price sale for $50. Now the listing had it listed as 1989. However, looking up PSA, the pop report has it listed as a 1988. It's under 1988 Spurs Police Diamond Shamrock. And there's a pop report with the tab and there's one without the tab as well. So it's a pop of 101 in a mint 9 slab. There's 35 gem mint 10s. So... Mint 9 sell for around 40 to 50 bucks, and the Gem Mint 10s are hundreds of dollars. And then without the tab, it's a pop of 10 in a Mint Slab and 7 in a Gem Mint Slab. From 1993 Fleer Jam Session, we have a Michael Jordan base card graded Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $365. In a Gem Mint Slab, it's a pop of only 40 and this exact card actually previously sold for $294 back in June of 2018. From 1994 Upper Deck McDonald's Nothing But Net, we have the Michael Jordan and Larry Bird card, graded a mint PSA 9, sold at auction for $56. This is a low pop of only 8 in a mint slab, and there's only 3 higher grade gem mint 10, so really low pop. From 1995 Collector's Choice, we have the Michael Jordan He's Back, graded gem in PSA 10, sold at auction for $87. I think that's actually a pretty reasonable price, $87 bucks for a gem mint Jordan, especially considering it's a pop of only 19 That's a pretty low pop. According to Beckett, these were inserted one per special retail pack, and it's a five-card set that commemorates Michael Jordan's coming back in the 94-95 season. From 1995 Hoops, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Power Palette insert. This is a pretty nice looking insert. Grade a mint PSA 9. It was a fixed price sale for $80. It's a pop of only 8 in a gem or in a mint slab, and there's only two higher grade gem mint 10s, so pretty low pop. The Power Palette inserts were randomly inserted into second series retail packs at a rate of 1 in 32 packs. And we're going to finish it up with a 13 card lot here. This is 1991 Skybox. You get the full Team USA subset graded by CSG. All of them are CSG 8.5 to 10s, and it was a fixed price sale for $280. So just over 20 bucks a card. It's a pretty good deal, I think. The Michael Jordan's a Gem Mint 10. The Larry Bird is a Gem Mint 10 as well. And then you got the three card team pick. With the left one graded at 10 and the other two are mint plus 9.5s. So the Jordan in and of itself, if you compare it to Gem Mint PSA 10, that's a pop of over 1300 but they typically sell for around 80 to 100 bucks or so. Same with the Larry Bird, around 80 to 100 bucks. It's a pop of only 228 in a PSA 10 slab. So I think these are pretty good prices for the Gem Mint copies. And... Those team picks, they sell for fairly good money as well, especially in better than mint condition. So I think that was a pretty good pickup. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cars were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below, we have eBay partner network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets check out those links below it's a pretty helpful reference also we got a link to bcw supplies and you guys can save 10 percent with the code junkwax10 and in addition we have a link to the market movers app and you can use the code jwi to get your first month subscription for just one dollar to give it a try as always enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting thank you